<laughs> hey Zoo family, welcome to my video. My name is Kirins, but you can call me Katie. I was born in Kolkata, India, and I was adopted in 2017 by an American family. Since coming to America, I've tried so many different foods, and in this series, I want to share this food with you. But I also want to learn to cook them so I can taste test them on my brothers, even though it might be bad. So some of them are hard, some of them are easy. I'm glad that I have the easy one right now. And uh, I might burn it, I might not. I'm gonna taste test them on my brothers no matter what. Today my favorite American dish is grilled cheese. And it's really simple, all you need bread and butter. Right? And cheese. And cheese. And cheese. <laughs> Okay, Katie, you can't have grilled cheese without grilled cheese, without cheese. So dad used to make fun of me because when I was in college, I didn't have butter. So I would put two pieces of cheese on bread and eat a cheese sandwich. Or if I was gonna get super fancy, I'd stick it in the microwave, the bread and the cheese, and stick it in the microwave for about 10 seconds and uh, eat grilled cheese that way. Or I would get super fancy, put the bread in the toaster, push the cheese in the microwave, Melt it a little bit, and bam, you got a grilled cheese sandwich. <laughs> and that's not what you're gonna do today. No. She's gonna no. learn a real grilled right. cheese, okay. <laughs> There's a couple tips for butter. You can choose one of two ways to do it. So you can either slice your butter really thin and slowly put it on the bread. But look, our butter's not warm enough to do that. So what will happen is you'll have holes in your bread. So what I do is I take a pat of butter and put it in the microwave, soften it up, and then I'll just baste it on. And that way it's evenly coated and you stick it in there. That seems easier. I really want one of those rolly things. Have you seen them? Where the diners, they roll yes, the butter? they roll the butter. It's so that much easier. That would be awesome. Sometimes you make it for the whole family. So you're making seven, eight, nine grilled cheeses. Right. You almost need diner equipment in here to, yes. to feed us. So you want to butter one side of each slice. You typically start your stove. I do it on three. That way your pan's nice and hot. Um, if you do it any higher than that, it's gonna burn. Yeah, it cooks too fast and the cheese won't melt. If you skip any sections when buttering your bread, your bread's not gonna cook. It'll just probably burn by the time that you are ready to flip. So basically just coat your bread evenly. You see how much yeah. she's putting on each piece? This works great for friend, for cinnamon toast bread too. Oh we yeah. We do that in, as Americans. Yes. Cinnamon. So now you take the same product and then just do cinnamon and sugar on it and then yep, it's breakfast. you could you could do it in a pan. <laughs> so you'll know you're when your pan's hot enough when you can don't touch the pan. When you can do this and it feels more than warm. Or you can actually use the bread to test. And you put the bread in here and you'll see if you can hear a sound. Do you hear a sound yet? Hey, no. Not yet. Nope, not quite hot enough. So when you get bubbles forming like that on the pan, you know you're good. So you can drop it in. Okay, drop it in. <clears throat> put two pieces of cheese. All right, then you put the top piece of bread on. You've already buttered that. Now at this point, you don't touch either piece of bread. You just let it cook. And you're never gonna separate these pieces because we want the cheese to melt completely. So I haven't actually timed how long I put the grilled cheese on, but you can tell you're getting close when you lift up and you can see, ooh, look at that golden brown. Okay, so it depends on, like, Caleb likes his a little more burnt. Um, I like mine golden brown, like what you get at a diner. So that's not quite ready to flip, um, but we're getting really close. Okay, so when you're ready to flip, you pray that the first part doesn't, the first part of the bread doesn't slide <laughs> had that happen. <laughs> and you just flip like a pancake. And look, nice and golden brown. <laughs> And you hear that sizzle? Mm -hmm. Yep. So a little. Also, your first side takes a little bit longer than your second side. You want it to be a little bit more golden, or are you done? I think I'm good. Okay. I just flip it extra because I think it's fun. <laughs> <laughs> so how are you gonna cut? Are you gonna do little triangles? Are you gonna do little squares? I typically cut mine in triangles because that's what a diner does. It's because what my mom did. Thanks, babe. Your mom made a triangle? She did. Oh no, no, you gotta stop. Just two big triangles. <laughs> How are you gonna get four pieces out of that? <laughs> oh no. Oh, oh 
Oh, what I a had shame. tea can I had tea sandwiches. You had that's your mom did it in fours? Yes. My mom tea. did it in twos. For the tea. Every kid yeah. in America remembers how their mom made grilled cheese, and that's the only right way. Yep. Because <laughs> the shape matters. Now look, your cheese is fully melted. Indian viewers, I will give you a secret. The cheaper the cheese, <laughs> typically the better the grilled cheese. <laughs> the the grilled cheese. It's <laughs> terrible for you. Yes. But that's the trick. Okay, Katie, you want to try it? I'll try one too. Mm. So who makes your grilled cheese better? Oh, sorry. Mommy does? Oh, sweet. Oh, mom, who taught you how to make a grilled cheese? So just like you, <laughs> my mom taught me to make my first grilled cheese. And then my dad did too. Um, and then in college, I made it so bad. Like I just made it cheaply. And then I got married and I forgot how to really make a grilled cheese. <laughs> and then dad had to remind me how to make grilled cheese. That's right. Okay, here we go. I think I'm ready. Okay, so butter. I'm gonna do the same thing on mom did. Now I have to listen for the sound or something. Bubbling. I don't know what I'm doing. Now we need butter. I mean bread. We have to mix it in every corner like a mom did. Okay, I didn't do enough butter, so I'm gonna get more. Now I'm gonna put them in the pan. Okay, I'm gonna try to test it out. Okay, I tried it on and it's not ready yet. So I'm gonna wait a little bit more. Okay, I think we're ready. Okay, I think it's ready, so now we're gonna put the cheese in. Let's put this. Now, let's wait. Yeah, I'm gonna let it cook a little bit longer. Good, but the cheese isn't melting a lot like mom's. Okay, we have a Katie grilled cheese. You have it, you did it. Now what, What is there anything else left to do? Uh, we gotta cut it for the boys. Okay, you wanna call them? Bring them down? We want mom to get them so she'll, they'll maybe think that she did it. Like, do you yeah, wanna mom fool them? them? Okay, so we're not gonna be able to do this every time because they're gonna start to know this is a series, but you're gonna fool them into thinking you made them a, a grilled cheese, okay? Before mom makes you grilled cheese, she wants to make sure that it's actually what you want. Mom made grilled cheese, but she before she goes and makes any more, uh, because she, she doesn't have enough of it, she wants to make sure you like it today. So go ahead and try it, you know, make sure it's coming out good today. How is it? One out of five, it's, uh, it's like the best grilled cheese we've ever had. Oh, really? Mom hit, hit it out of the park today? Uh -huh. Logan, what do you think? Four? A four, and Timmy? This is the best, so a three. A three, so we got a three, a four, and a five. Does it taste like mom made it? Not that much. Mm. Mm. Did Katie make it? <laughs> Katie made this? Katie made this. She didn't get any help. No help at all. Okay, I'm changing my rating to a five. <laughs> so it's, it's a mom four, but a Katie five. <laughs> so Katie. Wait, I want you to make this. Oh, like everything was like, Okay, it's wasn't even dark like how you like it. You like it burnt too. I know, but I didn't know that blue cheese would not so burnt. It could be the best thing ever. <laughs> what you think, Daze? Well, I like cheese, that's what she thinks. <laughs> it's good, huh? <laughs> She's ravenous. Okay, so guys, you think Katie did pretty well for her first mm -hmm. favorite American dish? Oh. This is a new series we're gonna do. She fooled you today. And some of you didn't know, it doesn't seem anyway, that she did it. And 
Uh, we're gonna do more videos like this, which we'll get to cook other favorite American dishes. Do you know what the next one's gonna be? Mac and cheese. Mac and cheese? Uh -huh. So she's gotta make mac and cheese on her own. What is it with American kids and cheese, Katie? I don't know. Uh, they all love cheese on everything. So thanks for watching this video. I'm glad I didn't burn the grilled cheese. But anyways, the boy still likes it. Make sure to give this video a like, and I'll see you next time. Bye.